Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to go from Buju to Maya 2017. So I'm going to stop this and um, I'm going to go into Buju, I'm using version 5 and uh, then I'm going to click on image sequence to import my image sequence and I'm going to go to the folder where I've saved it and uh, just a quick tip on your image sequence try and start on 001 instead of 000 that will just make the export from buju to maya a little bit smoother so i'm going to select the first image in the sequence and i'm going to click on open and it's going to tell me it's going to start from frame number one uh, end frame is 90 that's correct and then i'm going to click on ok so it's going to load the sequence and then i'm going to click on track features and um, you can click on advanced here and I'm going to leave everything default, sensitivity on default, uh, feature scale on normal, all of that is fine and then I'm going to click on start. So I'm just going to fast forward through this quickly. Alright, so once that's done we need to solve the camera, so I'm going to click on camera solve. So the only thing I do here is I tick optimize camera path smoothness, that will just smooth out the movement of the camera a little bit and uh, then I'm going to click on start. This shouldn't take too long, it takes a couple of seconds usually to finish and it's done. So if I scrub through here you'll see these little tracking markers on the floor and they should stick to the floor pretty well. Um, Alright, so next what we're going to do is we need to align our scene or orient the scene basically. So if I go to the 3D view and um, I hold in shift and just tilt around here, you'll see that the floor is not aligned to the 3D grid. Alright, so we're going to try and align that quickly. I'm going to go back to my 2D view and uh, then I'm going to select some of these features on the floor. So I'm just going to drag a box and then you can hold in command if you're on the Mac. Just select some of these points on the floor, like those ones. There we go. And uh, then I'm going to go to scene geometry and I'm going to click on add coordinates from hint. And then I'm going to set the type to ZX plane and connect to selected to select all those uh, tracking points. And then click on update coordinate frame. All right, I'm going to close that. Let's go back to the 3D view. And now I can see that the floor is actually lined up to that floor grid, which is pretty cool. All right, so now we can go back to our 2D view. And um, another thing that we can do is we can add some test objects just to see if the tracking is good. So I'm going to click on add test object. And uh, then I'm going to change this from ladybird to plane and then click apply and uh, just close this. And then I just want to scale it and move it a little bit around. So I'm going to click on scale and I'm going to scale it uh, just something like that. And then we're going to rotate it just so it's kind of lining up to the scene going to move it a bit so it's lining up to this wall uh, just rotate it slightly and uh, something like that and I'm just going to move it this way and um, now I'm just going to play through the scene quickly I'm just going to cache it all right so as you can see it's lining up pretty well so we've got a good track so next we're going to export our tracking data to Maya so I'm going to click on export camera and uh, then we're going to select Maya 4 Plus, that's the latest version in this version of Buju. And um, these things I'm going to leave all as default, moving camera, static scene, that's correct. Make sure that your start frame is correct and your end frame is correct. In this case it's 1 to 90. And I'm going to leave the scale scene on 1. And then I'm just going to set the file name, so I'm going to browse to the folder where I want to save it. And then I'm just going to give it a file name. And then I'm going to click on save and click on save. Okay, so now I'm going to go into Maya and I'm just going to click on File, New Scene. Don't want to save that. And now we're going to open that file that we exported from Buju. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and then I'm going to browse to the folder. And I'm going to select the .ma file that I exported, click on Open. And uh, no, we don't want to save that. And then it's giving me an error that it's unable to load the image sequence. Now we can just load that manually. So I'm going to select the image plane and then click on the little folder icon. And then I'm going to browse to that folder where I've got my image sequence. Click on the first one, click on open. And uh, then all you need to do is you need to tick use image sequence. All right, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set my frame cache to the amount of frames that I have. I've got 90, so I'm just going to set that there. So it's actually caching all those frames when I do playback. And uh, now I'm going to look through the camera. So I'm going to go to panels, perspective, and then I'm going to select my camera. And then I'm also going to lock the camera so I don't accidentally move it around. So this little icon here, I'm just going to click that. So that's locked. And now I'm just going to cache through and play through this. All right, one more thing that I want to do is I just want to create some geometry here to see if it's still lining up. So I'm going to create a plane under polygons. And I'm just going to rotate that into place as well. 
and uh, move it into so it's just kind of lining up to this wall and uh, let's just play through this and as you can see it's lining up pretty well so that's how easy it is to go from buju to maya i hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial click on the like button if you did and remember i upload new tutorials on a weekly basis so please click on that subscribe button to be notified thanks for watching cheers bye